for Scorpions. It's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, and I'm here to do your musician's reading. It's in the super blue full moon in Pisces, 30th of August, and it's for all artists and entertainers. We're looking at 2023. Uh, so this is the second full moon here, Scorpio, in August. And, you know, it's a powerful time so we can set long-term goals, sow the seeds for the future. But also being in Pisces, you have to be aware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies around this time. <clears throat> so, you know, it could be that uh, there's a turning point that comes or a culmination of some kind. You receive a breakthrough in your music or there's a breakdown or an ending because of um, these negative tendencies but it's all about creative expression and this is the influence of this full moon you know creative expression artistic endeavors and you know it's the creative potential of this super blue full moon that can be very immense okay many artists musicians writers creators of music they find themselves inspired by this cosmic energy so they can delve into their work you know, uh, produce their beautiful masterpieces and touch the hearts of many around the world. So I've chosen some cards from the Lenormand and we've got the tree, Virgo energy. We have the letter and we have the clouds and the underlying issue is the anchor. So, you know, the tree here is about growth. You're in a growth period. And you may have to wait for things to unfold. You're being patient here. Scorpio, the letter can be a document, a reward of some kind, or some form of appreciation that's coming for your music. With the clouds, your career can be a little bit unsteady because you're not sure which way to go with your music. You're a little bit um, undecided. And uh, having the anchor is the underlying issue. You can expect a stable career. It's going to last long term, okay? It's just that you need some clarity here. But, you, you know, you need to uh, wait for someone to contact you, perhaps. And this is where you're being patient. You know, you're waiting for things to unfold. You're waiting for someone to contact you. Maybe um, you're waiting for difficult people, Scorpio. And you want to move forward, but you're feeling stuck because of someone else. But, you know, I feel like you're going to have a long and healthy career. And this is a work-related document, which is causing the uncertainty here. Because you haven't heard from someone in particular. Okay, so it could be a Virgo. Or a, a next member of the band, perhaps. Now, how to harness this energy of the super blue full moon in Pisces. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Embrace creati uh, creativity. You need to engage in creative pursuits that resonate with only your soul's desires. Okay, whether it's painting a backdrop, painting an album, you know, creating an album cover, having uh, some dancing in your show or writing songs or singing. But it's all about allowing your imagination to flow, flow freely and express your innermost thoughts and emotions. Okay, and we have the stork, we have the birds, we have the man. So we've got Aries energy there and we've got Cancer energy here. Water sign, under, underlying issue. So, you know, the stork... Is telling you there may be changes coming in your career in the way of growth. Okay. A new career path. Anything is possible now here, Scorpio. With the birds, you could be expecting a phone call from someone you're waiting on. Uh, an interview or, or just a job for your music. You know, there could be also stress here. A bit of anxiety waiting on this. You're being patient, but you have to allow things to unfold, remember. With the man there, it's a need to take uh, ch take charge. Be strong, take charge. You could also have a man playing an important role in your music. Now, the moon, maybe this was an ex-member 
you know. Um, maybe you're actually waiting on an email to come from this person. But, you know, you're making changes to see growth in your music. Now, with the moon here, I feel like you're well known. People know who you are. Uh, they know you for your music. They know you for your career. And there will be success that's going to continue through your life. You know, I think there will be an uneasy change that's going to take place um, in the way of growth. But I feel like a relationship will evolve from this. You know, this will be a man who's flexible and he wants to see changes in your career. Now, this man, he's a great salesperson, does a great uh, sales pitch, um, knows how to talk your music up. And, you know, he's a very talkative man, this one. So it could be an Aries person or a Cancerian. Now I'm going to pull a um, animal card and that just slid out. So I'm going to go with it. And it's the frog. So this path has been cleared for you to make a change that previously seemed unachievable. So yeah, something um, that's come back here, making changes. Someone coming back. Uh, an old band member, an old manager perhaps, but they clear the path for you to make that change to whatever work seemed unavailable or unachievable in the past. So let's pull a card from the goddesses, gods and guardians oracles. Thank you. Okay, and we've got Kane, life force energy. That's beautiful. Some of you may be thinking about getting a tattoo as well. We're changing up your appearance. Um, you know, some of you may be trying meditation near a waterfall, perhaps. Let's see. Okay, some of you may be going to an island. Now, bursting with vitality, Kane comes with... A simple message, which is tying in with this. Your body would benefit from drinking more fresh water and eating nutrient-rich foods. Kane doesn't come to judge or lecture you about the dietary choices. He invites you to stand beneath this waterfall, soak up his rainbow colours and tune into your body's real needs. Okay. <clears throat> your spirit needed a reminder about cultivating true health and life force energy. Kane says, smiling widely, every drop of water or morsel of food contains a living consciousness and vibrational power. Is the way you eat and drink supporting your highest purpose? So some of you may be addicted to alcohol. Let's see as we go forward. If your physical or creative energy needs boosting, consider your dietary habits. The way to be optimum health now is to open your heart. Feed your body with loving awareness rather than with criticism or self-loathing. Celebrate your food, savour the colours, taste and te uh, textures. Give thanks to the creative source of the universe for sustaining you. Life is a joy when you see the sacred energy within everything. Okay, so the additional message here is your purpose is connected to food and nutrition. Grow your own produce. Limit your consumption of junk food. This is a positive message about healing from an eating disorder. <coughs> Excuse me. And give to the clean water and all food charities. Your invocation here, Scorpio, is I'm in tune with my body's needs. I'm full of energy. So this is about getting energy back into your life here. Scorpio for uh, this creative project or this new career that you're embarking on and you know you may be um, using substances uh, substances is a, in a way of uh, being patient and waiting but know that change is coming and I do see you um, having the success there will be a um, promising discussions with this charming emotional man that's coming back into your life 
but it's all about creativity and success that brings change so maybe this is what you have to do maybe you've been since you've been patient you put on a little bit of weight and you need to um eat healthy and uh so it gives you that energy back because you're going to be super busy is what i'm feeling so uh, that's your music reading for august i think i've done one on the 16th and i will attach it to this reading for you guys and see how much it's played out within those couple of weeks love to you all bye for now